Welcome to the D-Pad. I'm Rick. This is Mega Man Powered Up. We're in challenge mode. And uh, you'll notice in the intro, I'm the only one in there today. Everyone's a little bit busy. And let's be real, some of these challenges on the bottom are going to come to me anyway. So I figured I'd jump out in front of it, give us a couple more episodes to at least take some of these on. We'll see how they go. I'm not sure how, uh, how amazing I feel about it. Oh, you have to do Mega Man for the first one. Okay, fair enough. Uh... Someone was asking in the comments if we were going to try to take on all 100 challenges, and the answer is yes. There is an unlockable you get for it. Uh, you can, I forget if the DLC for that is free or not, but I've never been much a fan of doing things the easy way, so I'm going to uh, see what we can do about getting us ugh, all, of the, uh, all of the challenges, and we'll go from there. Uh -huh. Ah, oh, damn it, I was wondering if he was going to get me with that. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. And I forget how much uh, healing you get between bosses in uh, in this. I think it depends on the difficulty in new style. I don't know how much you get, if anything, in old style, so we'll see what happens in a second here. All right, so one down. Uh, also, for the old style one, I think it's just the six Robot Masters, so not Time Man or, or Oil Man. And not um, the Yellow Devil C W U O N P. Oof, not a lot of health there. Um, the Copy Robot or Doctor Wily. So Gutsman's a little bit tricky to start with. I think Fireman is like number three or four. I remember this one being one of the hardest challenges in the whole thing. Ironically, just because like you get so little help. Ooh, oof. There we go. You get so little help uh, in terms of the health. And Fireman is sort of a bastard, so... Oh, you shit! Get off of me! Oh, that sucked. That was bad. I was doing good for a second there, and then it just kind of fell apart on me. Ugh. Alright, two down, four to go. Iceman, when that comes around, is shouldn't be too terrible. Um, Electman and Fireman are going to be tricky. And I'll lose Bombman, who I guess won't be too, too bad, I, I don't think. Is it Fireman now? Oh, it's Electman now. Great. Ugh, I need my breather. I'm just gonna... Oof. Oh, fuck. I thought he was gonna jump for that one. Shit. Oh, fuck. Wow. Yep. Eh, this one's gonna be a bit tricky. So, Gutsman. Gutsman I can do better on. Cutman I was doing okay, and I fucked up at the end, and that cost me a lot. Electman's tricky. Electman and Fireman are both tricky because they're both kind of random. Like, they have a set... It's weird because, like, their AI has a set pattern... But the pattern is, like, misaligned in a weird way. I'll explain when I get over there, because I want to make sure I can get Gutsman taken care of. Ah, uh... oh, man, I was hoping that would get him, too. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. Jumping over that is a real pain sometimes. But hey, if he stays over there, I'm in luck, because it's much easier to dodge when, Ugh. when he gives you that much leeway. Okay. One more. Yes. All right. So one down, no damage. I got I got lucky on that one. If he came at me, that would have been a much different kind of scenario. So it's one. We got five more. Cutman. Cutman's not too bad. He will jump when he gets close to you. The problem is... So he he ha so he tries to jump directly to you, but he has a maximum like distance he'll jump, which means if you're close to him, if you're far away from him, that's great because you can, yeah, you can kind of use that to your advantage and force him to jump far enough that oop. oh boy oh see now because I got too close to him, he doesn't have a whole lot of room to actually do his jump, which means that he jumps straight up and down, which doesn't give you a lot of room to to maneuver. But if you get him to jump far, you have a lot more space to work with, so that's good. All right, full health going to Electman. This is pretty, I mean, it's literally best case scenario. But Electman's a bitch, and he doesn't take a ton of damage from the Mega Buster. So this is going to be a little bit 
uncomfortable. This is probably where the bottleneck's gonna happen. I think Fireman comes right after this, too, so... Ah, oh, too early, too early. Wow, he just does so much damage with that fucking thing. Oh. Oh, I tried to jump it. Like, look at this. I'm... Wow, fuck. I did almost nothing to him. Shit, okay. I can do better. I can do better with that. Damn. Yeah, that's... I wish that... I wish a Lechman and Fireman were further apart. I would almost rather just have a Lechman go first. Because he's going to be one of the two hardest ones. Just so getting him out of the way early, or just dying early and not wasting, you know, four minutes. would be kind of nice. But, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Oh, no! Fuck, dude. That's not cool. I thought I had enough. Ugh, coming down... Oh, bullshit. Coming down on the end of his jump is, like, such a pain in the ass. Uh, oh, boy, I thought he had me on that one, too. So the good news is he only throws when he jumps straight up and down. So if he jumps forward... Oh, fuck! God damn it. This is not going well. Ugh, okay. I think that's actually the worst start we've had so far. Alright, if I can keep Cutman... Ugh, Jesus. If I can keep Cutman from, from knocking me around, then I'll at least have, you know, three quarters of my health going to Elect Man. You really do need to get through these first two almost without getting hit once in order to have any realistic shot with Elect Man. Uh, there we go. So, the benefit with Cutman is also that he gets knocked back. So, you shoot him as he comes down. Oop. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, that's my own fucking fault there. Shit. See, he get he takes stun he gets stunned by mega ba buster shots, which is great. So when he jumps over you and you you can shoot him and knock him back to give yourself a little more space. Problem is, if you shoot him in midair, then he falls back and interrupts his jump, which means that the, you know, the rolling cutter might just get you in the face. Ah, oh, okay. All right, Alec man. Let's do this, buddy. Energize, yeah. I mean, I could maybe jump over him, but I feel like I'm just asking for... Fuck, I jumped way too early that time. Ugh. Oh, man. Ugh. Jeez. I just pretty much have to just sit there when he... Ugh. Goddamn. Ugh. Come on. All right. Uh. Oh my God, I can get a couple cheap shots in there, but I really gotta. Oh my God, that was close. Oh. Ah, fuck. All right, but we have a strategy now. We at least have a vaguely viable strategy. We can kind of lock him into having three shots in the ground and one in the air. So what I was saying before is, he seems to have a mild amount of variability in his AI. Like, he'll run up to you, then jump backwards, then run up to you, jump backwards. And while he does that, he's going to, at almost certainly regular intervals, will shoot electricity. But the problem is, it seems as though it's not exact. Like, it's not exactly four hits per, uh, uh, four shots per, like, lap, I guess you could call it. Ugh. Jesus. So sometimes you fall off that rhythm a little bit. Ah, oh, damn, I knew I gave it, like, just a frame too much time. Oh, god damn. It's so fucking hard. I guess if I stayed close to him, it, it you know, I, I wouldn't have to worry as much. Ah, oh, jeez, well, except in when that happens. Fuck, that's not good. If I do all against Cutman, I'll at least have almost all my health, but... Yes, the problem is, if you're up against the wall, then he, like... You have to get a full jump with perfect timing to be able to not take damage. I guess if I took a step closer, then all I got to do is back up. And, and a little hop should be enough, so I'll have to keep that in mind for next time. All right, Cutman. This is our breather. This is our first breather. Iceman's the other one because his pattern is pretty trivial. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm getting myself in trouble now. Okay. Nope. There we go. Got to give ourselves a little space to work with here. All right. One more. There it is. Okay. Eh, not my best showing. That wasn't great. I think I'm actually at oh, in a worse spot than I was in the last battle. 
Okay, but if I keep my cool, then we might be able to get through a Man this time. Let's see what we can do. Uh, the new style ones, you can at least use the other robot masters, so if you decide that one happens to have a better set of patterns, then you can work with that. And All right, here we go. Oh, shit! He took way longer to use his attack than normal there. Oh. Here we go. Oh. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man, this is going to take a little while here. Sorry. Ooh. Okay. Just didn't want to make... I just want to make sure I got that timing right and didn't fuck myself. Oh, whoa, hey, see what I mean? He occasionally mixes it up a little bit. All right. Oh, God, I almost came right down on that one. Oh, fuck! I, I knew that I was jumping too early on that one. Shit. Okay, we got him a little more than halfway on that one. We came in with, like, three-quarters health. So if I had come in with better health, I might have been able to survive one more blast. So... This is doable. We just gotta keep on pushing through. Warning! Alright, let's do this, guys, man. Alright, this time I'm gonna stay a little bit closer to him. Yeah, that's... Obviously, that's the preferred way to do this. Because... If he stuns you, you're just gonna get hit regardless of where you are. So, there's no point in... There we go. You gotta stay a little further away to make sure he doesn't hit you by picking up his block. Ugh. Once it gets real close, that's where ugh, it gets real uncomfortable here. There we go. Okay. I was like, I think I can get him before he gets a chance to throw it. Even if he jumps straight up, that bullet would have still gotten him, so I think we were all good there. Alright. Full health going to cut, man. Let's try not to fuck this one up if we can manage that. Be real nice. Let's see what we got. I like that the timer includes the amount of time it takes to get into the room, but doesn't include any of the, like, cutscene stuff. I think it's double funny because you have to play as regular Mega Man here. You can't do any charging or anything, so, like... There we go. There we go, nice. So, like, the, the travel between the rooms unless you stop for some reason, is going to be a, like, an exact, like, it's going to be the same amount of time regardless. It would almost seem more, it would almost seem better if the timer was only running while you were actively fighting the bosses. A oh, one minute on the dot, that's funny. Warning. Warning. I'm going to take that as a, as a good omen. Let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, whoa, I did it again. Every time that first one just gets me, because... He takes so long to get around to it. Ooh. Oh, boy. Ooh. That was close. Oh, my God. His pattern is all weird this time. Okay, there we go. Now we're in more familiar territory. Oh, God. Damn it. Really? Oh, that sucks. He is way off pattern right now. I don't know what the hell happened here, but... Ugh. Oh, boy. Fuck. Again. I don't know what the deal is, but he's, like, not even close to what his pattern has been for the last couple battles here. I, uh, shit. I think all but one of those hits came from came from uh, him being on a completely different cycle than he normally is. So that's what I'm talking about, is, like, they get you into this, like, like this sort of false sense of security, and then it's like, ah, nah, never mind. Oh, damn, I got two perfect starts to that, too, and I was feeling good about the pattern, and then just, nope. So, all right, that's okay. We can do it again. Oh, really? That got me? Oh, fuck off. So you get your timing off at all, and the whole thing comes undone. Oh, dude, you gotta back the fuck up. Oh, fuck, I jumped directly into him. That's good. And the phone's ringing. That's nice and distracting. Come on. Oh, that was a backwards jump, apparently. Just didn't look like one. Come on. One more, I think? There it is. My phone is also in my pocket, so it's nice and distracting there, too. Go away, Sterling. All right. Great. So, that was an awful start. 
I guess it's not horrific, but that's like a good, what, six pips gone? I don't even know how to measure that. They clearly aren't in full pips anymore, unless, like, the orange one is a pip. Like, the shading makes it look like there's something else going on there. I don't know. There we go. All right. Couple more. There it is. Okay. So, not the best. We're going to go in with, it looks like, about three pips uh, from Max. I hope that doesn't end up meaning the difference of, of a hit or not. Yeah, it looks like three pips from the top. Okay. Oh, let's hope he actually stays on his fucking pattern this time. That'd be fucking nice, huh? All right. Because a lot of the stuff... I mean, the original games are all about... See, once again, he... he ah, fuck! He's off his pattern immediately. Uh, a lot of these... Oh, oh, Jesus Christ. The older Mega Man games, especially the boss battles, are all about pattern recognition, which makes it really difficult when they decide to, like, just fall off their patterns for a while. Oh, Jeez, that was close. Okay. Oh. There we go. This is the one that I'm looking for. Oh, God. Jesus. Oh. It gives you just enough time to, to fix yourself if he decides to change it, but, like, it's a little bit close for comfort. Oh. Oh, fuck! Damn it. So close. I got him down to six pips. That's our new record with this. I'm going to give it one more shot. And then that might be it for this episode. I don't know if I'll move on to another one and come back to this or what. But we are improving each time. What I'm worried about is that I'm going to go to Fireman with almost no health. And his is even more fucking random and impossible to figure out than Electman. So I hope Iceman comes after Electman. Because that would make my life... So much easier. Which is, of course, the reason they're not going to do that. Yep. Yep. Ugh. You got to chill, dude. Uh, oh, God, I thought I did that too early. Okay. Sorry if, I'm, sorry if I get quiet a little bit. I'm trying to keep my eyes on the prize here. Okay. So, one down, five to go, and we got through that one with no damage, which is great. That's kind of what we're shooting for. So, let's see what we can do. I wish you could get an E-Tank or a Sub-Tank or something here, because, jeez. I, I mean, I guess I never checked. I assume there isn't one, but I'll check when I'm done with Cutman here. Okay, you wanna... There we go. God damn. Get a little bit more aggressive this time. There we go. Nice. I love the I love the wall squish. I think that's a cute, a cute little cartoonish touch. Alright, so let's go to our pause menu for a second here. Oh, I... You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, Jesus. Alright. I... I... Alright, well, there you go. I'm a fucking idiot. But hey, on the plus side, I can get through the first two guys with their... I mean, Guts, Guts Man and Cut Man are two that are almost intended to be done with their actual stuff, so... Alright, fine. Whoop, let's... Let's not get sloppy now. Oh boy, as I immediately get sloppy. There you go. I'm so embarrassed that I didn't check that before. All right, I take it back. If I don't do it this time, I'll do it on the next one because at least then I'll actually have, like, weaknesses and shit to work with. Uh, I have no idea who's next. I'm going to assume... I'm going to grab a Lek, man. I, don't, I have no idea who's next, so... I don't know that they do it in order. They might. Let's see what happens. Is it Fireman or Lek, man that's good for him? I can never remember. Oh, it's a Lek, man. Got it. Oh, I'm so fucking embarrassed. What a stupid way for me to... Uh, so I assume this means that uh, that Fireman's next, and this is probably where I actually am going to die. The problem with the Lekman is you still got to get pretty close to use Rolling Cutter. 
so you're at risk of getting hit with the electric bolt. But if I wait for his cycle, I can dodge him the same way I always have. Yeah, this is going to be bad. This is going to be real bad, guys. He's a huge pain in the ass to fight. For, like... See what I mean? Oh, I landed on the little... Mm. That's the hard part. Is Honestly, if it was just the, f the, the, the fire shot being, like, sent forward, that's dodgeable. It's that little flame on the bottom that seems to specifically... Uh, uh, aim for um, the spot where you the spot where you jumped over it. This might actually still be easier without Bomb Man's power, but do it anyway. Like, I'm trying to remember how the hell to even strategize this, because he's... Oh, there we go. I mean, the problem is, like, as you can see, it's taking me longer to do it this way, so I'm just going to go back to my regular... Ah, it's all right. I don't mind taking one hit on him to get out of that shit. Dude, are you serious right now? Ah, I was really hoping I could sneak under there. That sucks. Oh, man. This is not really the way that I was hoping for this battle to start out after realizing all the weakness stuff. Bomb Man is just a hard power to use, to be honest. It's... And so Gutsman is the one that you're supposed to use against Cutman. So really, I, I guess I should still just be using my bu my Buster for the first two battles. But that's okay. I can use Rolling Cutter against Lechman. I won't be so sloppy this time. I got really, really sloppy within the previous one. So be in a good spot. Then Iceman will help us uh, get some health back there. Yeah. Hoop. Oh, hey. There we go. There it is. Okay, good. I was like, he's following me pretty fucking close this time. Okay, all right. So let's get uh, Cutman power going. Good, good, good. I'm curious how they decided on the order of the powers in there, because it's not alphabetical. I mean, it could just be random. It could be based on... I guess it could be based off their, their number. I don't remember the order of them. I don't remember if Cutman was the first one or not. So he will jump away from... Oh, I, I literally just walked right into that. That's good. There we go. So he only takes three hits, so I can take my time and wait for a good opportunity. I don't have to jump into it like that. Because uh, here I am with half health, which means I'm going to be not in a, an amazing spot going up against Fireman in a second. I got Iceman first, but he's pretty fucking easy. They had to ramp him up a lot for new style, because in old style, he's pretty much a non-issue. All right, buddy, here we go. I got nine of these, but I only need, like, four, I think. Two. There we go. Easy. No problem. So now we do Fireman. At least I'm not, like, basically dead. Last time I was doing way worse on health, and I got Fireman pretty far down. Uh, and then I can use Fireman against Bomb Man, and we're done. So, Bomb Man's a little annoying. He's not nearly as bad as a Luck Man or Fireman, but he's definitely less of a trivial thing than Iceman or Cutman. He's kind of sitting there with Guts Man. Oh, I gotta wait for his invulnerability phase to go away. Oh, man. He is such a fucking pain in the ass. Yes! Oh, thank God. Uh, okay, I was like, that fire better fucking go away before uh, the little animation here is done, because if not, I'm fucking dead. Okay, so I need to more or less do this perfectly. I, I might be able to take one hit, but I obviously don't want to chance that, so let's just fucking burn this guy to the ground. Burn him to the ground! I love the animations they got. Oh, that's not good. Oh, he doesn't get stunned either. Fuck. Oh, dick sauce. Okay. All right. One more try should about do it. Uh, I can be a bit cooler and more collected with Elecman. Technically, you can draw out Fireman's attacks, but it's just kind of a pain in the ass to do. Like, it's, it's a little bit uh, non-intuitive. To the, the way they want you to do that. Uh, Alright. Oh, 
of course he's gonna be super aggressive this time. Dude, you gotta back the fuck up. Nope. Oh. Well, at least I can let him do that so I can get a little more space again. Is he gonna go forward? Of course he is. Oh my god, dude. Ah! Jesus Christ, of course it's gonna be this time, the one where I've actually got everything more or less figured out, where he's gonna be the biggest bastard. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'll be I'll be more or less at full by the time I get to a Lechman. I'm down, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pips? So I'll get back up to about three from the top. I'm counting each of those lines as separate pips. I think that's how they do it here. Something about the way they alternate the yellow and orange just makes it look like you're like halfway between or something. It's it's weird. But alright, let's do this. I wasn't expecting this to be like a, you know, half hour episode, but here we are. Oh fuck. Damn it. Oh god. I'm fucking this up a lot here. Shit. That's bad. Damn it. Ah, oh, one little fuck up really costs you a lot in this. All right, I'm going to have to play this real fucking cool then. I have to like wait my fucking turn. Ah, oh, man, such a bummer. All right, and I got to remember too that first shot if he jumps backwards, that first shot. Oh. I'll take the hit from him. It's actually better to take the hit from him. Whoa, wait, it those blow up his electric blasts? Am I crazy? Did that just happen or did it interrupt his animation? Because that makes a huge fucking difference. If I can just cut through his electric blast, then he's fucking not a problem. I can't do that with Fireman, but... Okay. That was weird. I'll have to take a look at that in the, uh, in the instant replay. Alright, here we go. Reporting for duty. Alright. All right. Ooh, god damn it. I tried to make it a shallow jump, too. Fuck, I'm just gonna die here again now. God damn it. This is so fucking aggravating. It's just, like, little tiny errors. I don't know if I'm just, like, coming unglued or what, but... Hi, Sarah. <laughs> she's she's making smoochy faces at me and with a sad face. Losing my precision jumps, yes. Uh, trying to do the, uh... Trying oh my to... god, you're so chibi. Yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Ah, oh, dead. Yep. So it's a challenge to beat all the six robot masters in the like in their like original forms from the old Mega Man game, but I messed yeah, up. Yeah, the standard sort of boss rush yeah. thing. Yeah. You get very little oh health my in between. God, this is like a Mega Man that's. Oh, <laughs> it's like they were like, let's make it for like little kids, but it'll I mean, still be hard. Apparently, this <laughs> is the design they were originally shooting for back on the NES. Really? Yep. Oh, I'm going to have to pause the thing because it just blipped on me. So hang on one second, guys. Okay, we got that fixed. Sorry about that. I'm sure I I've talked at length in the past about our, our weird... I, I assume it's the laptop that's the problem, not the... Uh, oh, Jesus. I assume it's the laptop that's the problem, not the HDMI cable, because it's the same HDMI cable used for literally everything else. Uh, this is the old laptop that still serves as our main editing device, uh, because I am still working on getting the PC that we are... So we record on the PC, always, but the editing still happens on the laptop, just because that's where everything is, and we've got some kind of massive... Uh, premiere files, like the Supersonic Let's Play, the Mega Let's Play are absolutely gargantuan project files. And I do delete stuff from there periodically, usually about every six-ish months. Uh, but the files are still massive, and there's still a lot of stuff to come with it, so there's a lot of transfer, and it's just kind of hard in the middle of stuff. Not to mention, we don't really have, like, a desk in here yet. I'm, I'm working on that, too. Uh, and the idea is gonna be that... Oh, boy, that was close. The idea is going to be that we're going to have a desk set up uh, with the PC so that I can do the editing on that really easily. I'm actually going to probably buy one this weekend. Uh, doing it doing it on the PC but not with a desk means I'm going to be all hunched over and weird. So I kind of prefer not to do that. I'm already hunched over enough using the editing laptop. Hey, we're back to full. That's good. All right. Let's see what we can do. It's funny that a Man will jump away from you if he gets the chance while you have the rolling cutter weapon. Um, 
Let's see what we got here. All right. Oh, good. I was like, oh, please tell me it's not going to miss and boomerang around him. Nice. So we have full health going into Iceman, which more or less means full health going to Fireman. I mean, even when I bumped into one of the, uh, the Slasher Ice or Ice Slasher uh, attacks, uh, it only took away a couple pips. It looked like it only took away like three, maybe four. So honestly, even if I get hit with one of those, it's not the end of the world. I'm going to heal most of it back anyway. But let's see if we can get through this without any damage, too. There we go. So it is three. It is three hits with the, uh, with the... I actually forget what the name of Elecman's move is. It's not Rolling Thunder, because it's Rolling Cutter for, uh, for, uh... Oh, it's Thunder Beam. Thunder Beam. That's what it was. All right. Full health going to Fireman. If I'm not an idiot, which I sometimes am, this should be a reasonable fight. See what we can do here. See, the problem is he also stops at random intervals to shoot. And he likes to do these double hits, too. Oh, God. Oh, oh my God. There we go. Jesus. Okay. So we're going to have about half health going into Bomb Man. Not the best. I would love to have more. And I really, really got to be good with my shots. I only get nine of these. And it seems like he's going to take most of the, most if not all of those. I'm going to have to switch back over to my buster. I have to watch out for his, so his bombs have a blast radius and he jumps around a lot in a kind of irregular fashion, so. All right. He will sometimes try to jump on you. He sometimes won't. He's a real pain in the ass to deal with. Oh. Yes! Oh, that was my last one, too. Fuck yeah. Whoo! Mission clear. Fuck yeah. All right. Sweet. So we're going to come back next time, and I'm going to try taking on some of the other boss attacks here. We'll see how they go. Later.